What is going on? Welcome back to Any Given Sunday. I'm your host, Hendo, here with my permanent, 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 permanent co host. Things like that. You know that ain't the truth. Rodney, you are the co host. Know, you know it ain't the truth. You're the co host. How you doing today, Rodney? I'm very tired. How are you doing today? I'm tired as well. You know, um, getting a little bit older, mm-hmm. as you know. And yesterday I went out and had Korean barbecue. I love hots. Okay. But hots don't love me back. Of course not. And the older not, you get, not not, a, not in your advanced age. And the older you get, the way that it goes in is the way to come out. Mm. It is not good. I got the boobly goops. That was not. That's not great. <laughs> it's not. Great. We don't need a, we don't need detail on that. <laughs> uh, what they call my kids? Call it the padoodles. <laughs> Did you, did, you uh, take, uh, did you take your, your new permanent house guest out with you? What permanent house guest? Little, no. Little, little Dream? Dream left. Like, she came and stopped uh, by. I got her Easter basket. And she and said, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, for some reason. She, some way, somehow, she's going to spend the week here. She was like, That's this right. weekend? I was like, not this weekend. We got too many things going on. So You ain't got no things going on. Saturday, sir. Oh, you're talking about next weekend. I think you said this weekend. Yeah, the weekend that's coming. Like there you the go. Six. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, she gotcha. She was like, I need, I'm going to drop off on the 6th. I was like, no, you won't. I won't be here. <laughs> He's like, I'll drop her at the stadium. Whatever. I would let take her, her to the let her, let her run around on the field. She'll be happy. I would take her to the stadium, but she does not know how to act in public. What, what do you mean? She, she has no discipline, no self-control. Uh, I mean, you know, attitude reflects leadership, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, and she's not always around me, so. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Ooh. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's see who we got up in here with us tonight. I didn't expect anybody to be here because it is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to all of you that celebrated. No, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Should be ashamed. Should be celebrating with family right now. That's right. I'm home alone, so. Yeah, and I don't celebrate I'm... Easter, so. <laughs> I mean, I don't either, but you know. I will take all the vegan candy that I just acquired. That's not a real thing. Killer Cam, hola, what's going on? We got Big Reg in the house. We got to cut this short. Why, Cousin Dave, what's going on? I just looked at the Duke score. They need me. No, they don't. They need my, they're need. they down 10 with five minutes left. What's up, they, Jay? They need us. Okay. Jeremy Miller's in the house. Support. They don't need our support. I thought the ladies needed our support, and they scored like eight points in the first half. Well, that that might be on me. I didn't start watching until the fourth quarter, mm-hmm. and you yeah. saw the comeback they made. But yeah, what's up, Osman? What's up, Osman? How you doing? Tanja Bowman's in the house. What's going on? Hey, yes, Tanja. happy Sunday, happy Resurrection Day, once again to all of you to celebrate. All right, listen, we ain't got nothing real heavy for you. Something slight, you know. It's not much really, a bunch of news going on in the Ravens community. Mm-hmm. I was being joked before the stream about what were we going to stream about because, as we know, the Ravens didn't really do much of anything. So. Yes. What's up, Darius? How you feel? <laughs> be the change you wish to see. I try to be the change that I wish to see, but apparently my general manager, he doesn't see eye to eye with me. He mm-hmm. likes to make jokes about former players. Mm-hmm. No. All right. Let's jump into this, Brian, because I don't think we're going to be here that long. Not unless the people have something that they really wish to talk about. I'm sorry. Why do you have to say that? Every time you say that, it's an hour and a half show. I keep telling you, don't say that. This is the show. You're you're jinxing the show. It's the show for the people. It's what the people want. People want to talk about some stuff. We talk about some stuff. They got some comments. They want to talk about. We talk about the comments, bro. Nah. But since we are talking NFL, Baltimore Ravens, I guess the only news that really we have to bring up for this week is Jadavion Clowney. I know that the Baltimore Ravens wanted to resign Jadavion Clowney. I don't know why they thought that once they signed him last year to that $2.5 million contract, after tying a career high nine and a half sacks and many, many pressures, the Ravens thought that they were going to get him at the hometown discounted price. I don't know what they were waiting on. I don't know what they were thinking about. But Jadavion Clowney signed a two-year, $20 million contract with the Carolina Panthers. That's right. And you know exactly what they were thinking. The Ravens let the other 31 teams uh, make their free agency signings for them. They just wait until there isn't anything left. You know, the last people down at the bottom of the barrel, and then that's who they sign. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. 
True, true. So with this move, I figured that eventually that the Ravens were going to go into panic mode and probably rush to make an offer to Kyle Van Noy and bring him back. But in traditional Ravens fashion, they said, you know what? He doesn't want to go to training camp. He's probably not going to sign right until midway point of the off season and get with the team. So they'll make him an offer. Then, then we got the news that Hassan Reddick was traded to the New York jets from the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't remember what the compensation was. Something like a six. Uh, I believe it was a second round pick in 2026. A second. I believe, I believe it was a second in 2026. Yeah. 2026. Yeah. So not even for this season. So we could have or acquired next or, ne- or next season. So two years down the road, we could have acquired right now a pass rusher mm-hmm. that tremendously helps this team. And apparently this is an area that the Ravens are lacking, being that they're out here trying to sign certain free agents because right, as of right now, we have David Ajabo. I'm sorry, Injurbo. We have... Odafe I just want you to know, in case in case you you ever see this clip, David, I do not co-sign that nickname. Okay, I think, it, I think it's hurtful. I think it's disrespectful, uh, and and I and I do not co-sign that. I mean, that's what he's done. Odafe No Way is pretty funny to me, though. I like that one. You like what? Odafe No Way. I mean, No Way, Slow Way, Go Away. All of the above. All of the above. What's going on, Jose? Thank you for driving by. But, oh, I forgot. Let, let us not forget. Fifth round pick, Tavius Robinson. So these are the three main pass rushers. Hey, 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 hey. I believe he was a fourth round pick, sir. I think he was a fifth. I think he was a fourth. Tomato, tomato. It's not. That's not what that is. Uh, you <laughs> can very easily uh, confirm either way. It's to you, you're, you're really you're really coming after Ferris for that bum scoop title. I'll tell you that. Nah, man. You know what? I have been off my game recently. Yeah. I'm not even going to hold you. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. Like, I've been off my game a little bit. You know, so ever since you showed me that comment. I don't know. Coach showed the comment. Fourth, fourth round pick. Fourth round pick? My apologies, Brian. You were correct. You All are right. the truest You are the truest Ravens fan on this channel. Um, God damn it, bro. I don't even know why I come here. <laughs> To close, so we have those three pass rushes on the squad as of right now, and of course, the Ravens are waiting for the June 1st cuts. Third round pick in 2026. Thank you very much, Tanja. I would That's appreciate it if you spell my name properly next time. He's real big on spelling his name right, like that irks him. I, do, you know, I, I think that, that people have names, and I think that we should respect the names that they that they have. Okay, I agree 100. percent Good, but. You? I do, man. I do. Okay. So okay. a third round pick in 2026, which is two years from now, the Ravens could have acquired a established an established pass rusher to mm-hmm. give the Ravens what they need, especially with a new defensive coordinator and new defensive staff altogether. We don't know how this defense is actually going to look and to get a proven star and bring him in, somebody mm-hmm. that gets double digit sacks every year, somebody that's who's he's not a hometown kid, but he's from Philadelphia, so he's close by. This is something that I thought that the Ravens could have done something the Ravens should have done, but they figure we'll wait for the cuts. And I think that the only thing that kind of gives me pause with the June 1st cuts is you don't know who's going to get cut. So this cannot be your plan each and every season. You can't sit back and say, well, you know, we'll wait to find out what team cuts, what person for what price. We just don't know. And then Mm -hmm. we end up getting garbage because we did get lucky last season with Kyle Van Noy and Jadavion Clown. We got lucky to be honest with you. It wasn't skill strategy. So, what do you think about this? Tyus Bowser available. If you want to, I mean, he's he's a good player. Yeah, I like Tyus Bowser. You want to shore up that that edge rusher room? But listen, you got a first round pick in Owe, you got a second round pick in Ojabo, you got a fourth round pick in Tavius Robinson. Let them cook, right? That's what the that's what you say about the offense all the time. Go into the draft day three, pick up a couple of depth guys, and 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 let them go. Right. He makes sense. The Chiefs be getting it done with the rookies, but the Chiefs also have a uh, competent coaches there. The, John Harbaugh doesn't like to play rookies. Have the Chiefs been getting it done with rookies? Huh? That's secondary. They're secondary. Um, they're not they were, full they were of rookies. Well, I mean, they weren't rookies, but they were. They played them like three or three or four of them were rookies two years ago. 
and they had an okay. old rookie secondary that won the Super Bowl. So Weird. they don't have a problem. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm just saying. They don't have a problem with paying rookies, is all I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's see. What do you think that – who do you think that the Ravens can get pass rush-wise that's out there? That maybe will show up this defense. I know it's not much. It's slim pickers out there right now, but yeah. is there anyone out there that you see that maybe will give this team a boost in terms of pass rushing? Yeah, I don't. I'm not even. I'm honestly not even sure who's still available. I mean, there's always there's always guys out there, right? Um, but like you're saying, it's not really any impact players left at this point. Um, let me see who else is uh, who's out there, because I, I honestly don't know in terms of edge rushers who who is is even left. Most of a lot of guys have been signed, a lot, of, and even even not great guys have been signed. Um, y'all missed out on Chase on. That's unfortunate for you. Uh, Carolina really really jumped out in front of you on that one. You got that scrub. Um, Let's see here. Looking on Spotrack, uh, let's take a look at all positions, and we're going to go with the edge. And let's see what we've got. We have Emmanuel Ogba, Carl Lawson, Randy Gregory, Yannick Ngankwe, Charles Harris, Tyus Bowser, Jerry Hughes, Bud Dupree, Marquise Haynes, uh, Marcus Golden, Shaq Lawson, Anthony Ball. I mean, y'all should go in the draft, honestly. If if uh, if anything, uh, if you're really looking for for edge help, probably probably want to get that day three in the draft. I would agree. I would agree. So, as always, the Ravens have kind of you know dropped the ball on this one and are waiting for mid to low level replacements to come in and actually save this team. And for me, it's extremely frustrating because we're so close to a Super Bowl. Ever since Lamar Jackson came in and became the starting quarterback of this team, we've been this close to a Super Bowl. There's been little tweaks that could and should have been made that have not been made, and they just don't seem to do it. So Justin Houston. Come on, stop that. Okay. Let's not, let's not go there. So that brings me to the next topic. And you know what you said? You know, you sent the link out to Shug, and this would have been something that he may have been able to speak on. Has the Ravens Super Bowl window closed? Do you feel the Ravens have done enough throughout free agency up to this point to be a contender for the Super Bowl? Because there was a Steelers reporter for one of these publications, and he said the Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl window has closed because of all the free agent losses that they've had and also them not shoring up that offensive line, which we all know in the NFL is a very, very important unit when you want to be successful. So to you, Bradney, in your opinion and in the chat, do you believe that the, the Ravens Super Bowl window has closed? The window, uh, as far as those exist, is never going to be closed as long as they have Lamar Jackson. The, the quarterback position is what opens and closes your window. And they have one of the best quarterbacks in the league. So, no, the window is not closed. Uh, I think they're further away today than they were, you know, at the at the end of the season or at the start of last season, wherever you want to compare it to. But like Tanja says, it's, it's March 31st. They haven't had the draft yet. They're obviously not done in free agency. You know, we don't really like the Ravens' approach, but they, they are going to sign more players, obviously. Uh, they like to wait a little later and see if they can get bargains, but they have the draft. They have uh, the second wave or third wave of free agency, and you're still going to be able to look around and make, you know, uh, potentially make trades. So this is not anywhere near the final roster. If we're saying this is the final roster and that's what we're going to judge it on, then no, they're not Super Bowl contenders right now. But there's a long way to go uh, before the start of the season. And again, as long as Lamar Jackson is on the team, the Super Bowl window is open. I agree 100. percent As long as we have Lamar as a quarterback, anything is possible. Um, I just think that this reporter, I think in his view, it was kind of not only what the Ravens have not done in free agency; it's what the AFC particularly has done for most teams to make themselves a little bit better. 
I mean, even in our own division, Cincinnati shoring up their offensive line, even though they did trade Joe Mixon, didn't get that one. Um, Cleveland is making moves offensively to get better, and they were the number two defense in the league. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh seemed to be a quarterback away from actually contending, and they went out and got two of them. Mm -hmm. They did trade away a, two of their wide receivers, let go of one of their safeties. I think their move now was to shore up that offensive line, but the quarterback being the most important position, I think the moves that were made by the other division foes and the moves that the Ravens did not make was kind of the barometer of this reporter's knowledge or his opinion. So, mm -hmm. I mean, but like you said, as long as Lamar's here, we can win games. Yeah, I mean, and it, it's kind of silly to write an article in, in March <laughs> talking about those Super Bowl windows closed. I mean, listen, this is the time of the year where it's not much to talk about, especially one, now that free agency is ramped down. Teams aren't really making moves. You know, they're doing little things here and there, but not things to move the needle as to helping their team actually get better. So people just find yeah, stuff to write about. That's better. I agree. The Panthers, listen, I, I admire the Panthers. I like what they're doing. I like the moves that they're making. You know, people can sit there and say they're overpaying for people, but sometimes mm -hmm. when you want something, you have to overpay for it. And they don't sit back and say, well, you know, let's wait around and find out at the end who's left over and then see what we can get. Because I think some of those things kind of led them to where they were last year. Yeah. You know, they didn't really go after certain things, especially with the rookie quarterback last year. You would have thought that they would have showed up the offensive line once again, which is one of the most important positions in the NFL. So I commend my little cousins. You to be fair, saying? to be fair, first of all, you're not, you're not your little cousins. They're they're on the same level as y'all because you don't win anything either. Uh, they thought they had the whole line shored up. It was a it was a shock to everybody how poorly they played. Uh, and as, as far as overpaying, you know that's what you're supposed to do when you have your quarterback on a rookie contract. You go out and you pay what you need to pay to surround them with the talent that you want to surround them with. I know Baltimore I, doesn't know anything about that because you didn't do that when you had Lamar on a rookie contract either. Uh, you said, hey, we can't afford it, we can't afford it, we can't afford it. And then once he got his deal, he said, hey, we can't afford it because Lamar. So, you know, different difference in philosophies, you know? It's more than one way to win, I guess. In fact, when one franchise is winning, I guess you are correct in that assessment. Mm -hmm. But, you know, hopefully, little brother will come up this year. <laughs> I listen, I'm hopeful. Like I I've always liked the Panthers, so I'm hopeful that they'll yeah. come up. But you know, it's gonna take some time. And I do think that that Bryce Young needs a couple more weapons. Yeah. You know, feelings get well, a little sorry, bit. Well, luckily they, they they've got two picks right there at the top of the second round. Uh prime territory to, to grab some some receiver help. So being a Panthers. I know that fan, that's not really an option for y'all because you you don't have three starters on your own line. So you gotta you gotta you got to grab the, the, those big guys uh, at 30. But. You might be right. But somebody, listen, somebody hit hit a comment earlier this morning on a video I had saying, why would why do we need another wide receiver? We have Zay Flowers. He's the mm -hmm. best wide receiver we got, and you can't do no better than him. Yeah, and I'm sitting like, definitely. I'm sitting there like, yo, so you just want to go with status quo. We've done this before trying to go into a season with one wide receiver. And then in the end, like, oh, we need some help. Lamar needs help. But my question to you is also I saw Ravens fans and not anybody in the chat because I know they're not like delusional like that. But I saw something on Twitter where somebody was like, man, we need to go get DJ Chart. He is a playmaker. He's that dude. As a Panthers fan, can you attest? I believe, attest I believe LaVisca Chenault was mentioned in that uh, that as well. LaVishka Chanel uh, was mentioned. Absolute that. garbage. Absolute so garbage. definitely go pick him up. It, it, it would be hilarious. I admit that. I admit La, LaVisca's like, uh, he's like Debo if you take away his athleticism and skill. And speed? Yeah, well, I mean, that's part of it. But, but yeah, he's slower. Definitely, definitely speed being number one. Dude is number one. Dude, is, he, he yikes. And that he guy was a. And then they tweet the guy was like, man, you know ball. He was like, you want LaVishka and Shark? You know ball, sir. And I looked at that tweet and I was like, and I got up to, to, to respond and I was like, it ain't even worth it. It ain't even no, worth it. Of all the free agents out here right now, you said LaVishka should know. And DJ Chark were the replacements that we need to come in here and help us win. But 
I don't see it. But to me, like I said, I don't think that the Ravens' window is closed. Have they done enough up to this point? I don't think so. But once again, we still have June 1st cuts. We have the draft. Free agency is not over. Mm -hmm. EDC can still come out and trade for somebody. I'm going to keep my hopes high. I got to. I got to keep my hopes high. You know, I just thought, I just thought, me personally, that with coming so close to, the, to winning the AFC Championship, like we were never out of that game. Being so close, I thought the Ravens were going to make some upgrades to kind of help get over that hump. And that is something, unfortunately, up until now, they did not do. Thought maybe it would wake them up a little bit, and it, it has not. I mean, each and every season, like the progression each and every season, like fall short, fall short, fall short, fall short. Almost got that fall short. Now was the time, you know what, we're going to go all in. We're going to make some noise. And you can sign people to one-year contracts. Like people are always saying, well, we can't afford it. Oh, they cost too much. You can sign somebody to a one-year deal and see how it goes. We did that with OBJ. Unfortunately, we took a broke down 30 old yeah, off injured wide receiver. Stop, man. Don't Sorry. do that. Don't joke like that. Because they may they may try to, you know, they may try to go get him. Someone just says, uh, we haven't even spent any money from any restructures, have we? No, but the Ravens are currently, I believe. 14 mil under the cap. And I'm not sure if that includes draft picks and money set aside for injuries. So it's kind of close to the vest. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not particularly sure what they're doing with this money. I'm sure they have a plan. We just don't know what it is yet. And yay, we got a surprise. Oh, no, we don't have a surprise. I'm not bringing that up. <laughs> I'm not bringing that up. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> so, what you brought and you, <laughs> what a hand oh, that's so, rude. you're so disrespectful, sir. That's rude. Why do you keep bringing that up? You're so disrespectful, sir. I, I, we have a guest, he's not on screen, is he? I mean, and I don't know why he has a picture of me is. as his screensaver. <laughs> it's so that's so <laughs> rude, ridiculous, isn't it? I thought you're it was right? kind of funny. It funny to me. I thought it was but, pretty funny. Uh, Okay. So about twelve, a little over twelve million right now, according to over the cap, is what uh, Baltimore has. That's it. Yeah. With all the structures and everything that we've done, that's all. Well, I'm glad I you guess took down that banner. There we go. <laughs> Should you there? I am here, but I am there. He is currently snacking on Easter candy. That's all right. Oh, Jose's not here. Then what? You, I can't. I can't stream. I can't stream and eat. Earlier today, I was eating on my own stream, and I swear I thought Jose was gonna walk in there. So I just I had to get on. Yeah, he got PTSD. That's not cool. Yeah. yeah. What do you expect from a, another Puerto Rican man? It gives me PTSD. Another? That is it. That is at the. Yeah, my father. Who's what Puerto are we talking Rican? about? What, what are we talking about? We were talking. We were talking about um, a Pittsburgh Steeler writer. He said that the Baltimore Ravens window has closed for the Super Bowl. As a Steelers yeah. fan, do you believe that to be true? If, okay, we're not messing around, and we're being honest. I, I do believe so. I do. I do believe that your Super Bowl window is really close to closing, um, because I think if if you, I think you would agree with me, Hendo, that. The Baltimore Ravens have not gotten the weapons that Lamar Jackson needs to win a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you, you know, people, I remember, like you said, it's, it's about going and going, it's like going to the, to the thrift store, you know, Derrick Henry is now, Oh, look, we got Derrick Henry. Well, this is, this isn't Derrick Henry from five years ago. This is, you know, might not, might not maybe give you a thousand yards, but that's about it. You know, who's your wide receivers? You guys are really going to depend on Bateman. And I, I saw that you had posted in Discord of, of talking about uh, Zay Flowers and how someone's like, he's the number one receiver. And Bronny was like, he hasn't even put up number number one receiver numbers. You know, and I hate to bring it up. I, I really do. But George Pickens, bring had small, George Pickens had small hands thrown to him and still put up 1,000 yards and was thrown Ooh. less times to him. Okay, but let me ask you a question. Was George Pickens in his first or his second year? This is his second. He's going into his third year now. So it's his second year. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Right. What Did he put up 1,000 in, in his rookie season? 
Because uh, I believe I he, he had like, like I believe he had like eight hundred yards. Okay, so he's about the same as Zay. Yeah, so he's about the same as Zay Flowers. Okay, cool. So with the trajectory you're speaking of, Zay Flowers should have twelve hundred yards. He should, but do you think do you think Baltimore coaches are going to put an emphasis on getting him getting the ball? If we don't have any or, other wide receivers or, to throw to, yes. Or are we going to throw the ball to? Or, sorry, why did I say we? Jesus Christ! Because you're like hanging around here. But what happens if they start throwing the ball? What, what if they start just throwing the ball, feeding it to uh, Mark Andrews? We're in trouble. <laughs> We're in trouble. Mark Andrews is not the Mark Andrews of old. He's a security blanket. Listen, he's that third down. We may need somebody to get the ball. As long as there's no way near the end zone. He's the one to go to. But so let me ask you this. Do you think that the Steelers over the last three seasons were Super Bowl contenders? No, they were not. Okay. Okay. This they were they were literally in I I God, I know. I knew we were gonna catch that. Thank God I'm not on camera. So you can't prove it. This might be somebody else. Uh no, we were not. We were never close to being Super Bowl contenders. We were in rebuilding. We? Who is this we? The Steelers. Steelers. You're not a Steelers fan, though. I am a Steelers fan. Banks, uh, Zay was the number one target in Baltimore, also. So I don't know what you're. And they force fed him the ball. About, though. They force fed him the ball. Like they would give him the ball three straight possessions. And this year, Pickens was not uh, Steelers' uh, number one uh, target, though. Yeah, they Johnson just kept, had they kept, they kept until until Mason Rudolph came in, and that's when yeah, he until exploded. Mason, yeah, that's when he until Rudolph the, until Rudolph the the. Uh, Racist reindeer came in and you know started throwing him the ball, but I would say, I would say, yeah, uh, you know, Ooh. Mark Andrews needs to get traded. Who's going to take his place? Who's going to take him? I mean, he's better than Kelvin, uh, Travis Kelsey. That's what I thought. Ray Ooh. said. Robert says Steelers fan Steelers need a QB. Russ and Fields are not Lamar. We really? don't need him to be. We don't. We don't need our quarterback to be Lamar Jackson. Y'all look at you guys. Lamar you guys can't. <laughs> hold up. Yeah. Like what is? Hold up. What? What is? Like I'm not trying to because I like Lamar. I know you and do. You, want, you you defend Lamar in in. in I do. Steelers I do actually places. defend. I do defend Lamar a lot. But mm-hmm. what? Is, what? Is, we don't need a quarterback to be Lamar Jackson. Last year we we had small hands. Rudolph the red nose uh, racist and uh freaking Mitch can't throw a da- damn touchdown to Bisky Tricky as Mitch. our quarterback as our QB and we had and they gave us 13 touchdowns and we still went 10 and 7. So Bank says likely has already replaced him. Has he? Cuz what did we talk <laughs> about uh last week Bradley when uh forget somebody was like yeah if if um likely gets if he plays 17 games He's gonna get a thousand yards, and Bradley showed me the stat where he played seventeen games. Yeah, and he wasn't close to a thousand yards. Like he he played well when he Mark Andrews very went well. down. That's cool. He played very you know, well, but I mean, yeah, 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 he played well when, when Mark Andrews went down. He had four hundred eleven yards over seventeen games. So you can't say that he's replaced him because he he didn't. Yeah, you know, but Ravens fans like to project. Mm-hmm. We do, and we are, we're hoping. We're hoping. Um, do we have the offense to sustain a two tight end set? Because when you saw how likely played when Mark Andrews was on the field, and when he was out, he ate, and then when Mark Andrews came back, he was the forgotten man again. So, do we really need both of them on the field at the same time? I think you need a tight end and three wide receivers. You need a dominant one, a very good two, and a serviceable three. And a decent tight end. I don't know about putting two tight ends on the field. I mean, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I mean, we should just go back to running the wing T. Might as well. <laughs> he said we. Yeah. Yeah. He said we. God damn it. it. What's I'm going on there? Not, I'm just not going to talk anymore. <laughs> he said likely hasn't replaced anybody. He's a backup tight end. Everybody's going to pry about likely being sorry next season when he has 25 receptions. I mean. I'm not gonna cry. I'm status quo. Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna say he's gonna be sorry. I thought he he played well. I'm not gonna take that away from him. Uh, he, he made you know, the he made a, the leap. He's a he's a talented guy. Um, I don't know that he's a better player than Mark Andrews. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't, even even at even at this advanced stage 
of Mark Andrews' career, and I'm not the biggest Mark Andrews fan because he doesn't show up in the playoffs, as we all know. Isaiah likely has a touchdown in the playoffs over Mark Andrews' career. He does not have any. And the most he's had is what? I think 60-something yards? And that was against Cincinnati. But outside of that, he gets normally three catches, 40 yards. And likely he's outperforming him. But even still, push come to shove, I think I would count on Mark Andrews more than I would count on Isaiah Likely at this point in time. Thanks. That's the lowest bar in the history of bars. Like I, I don't care that he's outperformed uh, Mark Andrews in the playoffs. That means absolutely nothing. Yeah, because Mark Andrews hasn't done anything in the playoffs, but drop touchdowns. Oh, there he is. What's up? What's going on? Uh, happy oh, Easter. Oh, yeah. oh, happy, oh. happy Easter, you guys. Sorry, I was. These things are amazing. White chocolate eggs with chocolate in the middle with <laughs> hazelnut. Freaking. My diabetes is flying right now. So, I thank you. Appreciate you guys. But you, happy but Easter. You, but you continue to eat it. Yes. Yes. It's Easter. Jesus was laying eggs this morning, and I need to go search for them. Mark Andrews is a decent tight end. He's a decent tight end. He had one All Pro season. Shout out to him. But other than that, he's been a decent tight end. He's he. I think for me, he's a, he, he's a good player, but not a special player. Right, and for me, I think he was amplified because we didn't have anything else. So he mm-hmm. was Lamar's go to guy. And now that you see that they started to bring talent to the outside, he doesn't go to Mark Andrews as much because that's normally what happens in systems unless you are Travis Kelsey. Catch touchdowns in the playoffs. Let's start with that. He can catch no, touchdowns no, no, so in the playoffs. Backwards. You want to be- Either what can Andrews what? do that likely can't? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> drop touchdown passes in the playoffs. I think likely we can do that too. Um but yeah, no, I mean, Mark, Mark Andrews, again, he's a decent player. And and, and I said, I've said on here before that if they got a, a strong offer from Mark Andrews, they should move him. But he's not a player that they should be looking to give away. Not at all. Not at all. But we do need to start having an honest conversation. Um, and it may be all coincidental, but the Ravens offense started to take off once Andrews left the building. Maybe coincidental. I'm not saying, and I'm not putting it on Andrews. He's not a bad player. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we need to get stronger on the outside with the receivers. Yeah. And not be so tight and dependent. This isn't Joe Flacco. We don't have Joe Flacco, a quarterback that relies heavily on tight ends. But I mean, I mean listen, tomato, tomato. Once again, <laughs> there's a one no coincidence. I'm trying to get a man, you know, I'm trying to give him some grace. You know, Ravens fans feel like we need him. They say he's the number one tight end in the NFL. You know, any is he better than Pat Frymuth right now? Yeah, Should. I would say he is. I would say he is. <laughs> well, well, Pat Frymuth's about to get a real quarterback. So we'll see. We shall see. I mean, when he had oh. when he had Big Ben, even the even when he had Big Ben, who couldn't throw fifteen yards down the down the field, he he at least had a you know, a, a, a QB that could throw him the ball, you know, many hands couldn't even get it to him Baby you know, down the middle. Yeah. Baby, Baby mints. Mints. What was your other name for him? You're uh, going to be real upset when he wins a, a Super Bowl in Philly. On the bench? If he, if he wins Doesn't a matter. Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> that's fine, <I> mean, hey. <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's not what we're discussing. Hey, sometimes you got to be drag along, right? That's right. Ronnie. Ho- Jose knows about that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just drag. She's got to drag him along, right, Rodney? Shout out to Jose, my, one of my favorite streamers. Mm. Appreciate him. That's a- All right, moving on. Um, with the NFL draft less than a month away, I think we are 26 days away from the draft. You know, this is something for us to look forward to. The NFL has released its dates for each team's off-season workouts. 27 days away from the draft, I believe. Because uh, Carolina is, is pick 33. At this point. <laughs> I mean, who's even gonna watch that, honestly? We are because we're actually doing a stream with Coach Evans for the first two you, rounds. Sure? First, first two rounds of the draft. The whole Ravens. You, you Rodney, well, Rodney, why are you always trying to get out of doing work? 
Right. It's not work if you don't get paid, sure. It, it is paid. still it is it is still work. Nope. You, and get, you, get, you get paid being rewarded with the people that are are pleased with hearing don't, your voice. Don't, and don't, talk, don't talk to me about getting paid in exposure. And right. touche. Touche. <laughs> touche. All right. I guess that didn't work. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, NFL news. Um, certain NFL news going on around that may possibly affect the Ravens. Uh, last night, early this morning, I guess uh, Rishi Rice of the Kansas City Chiefs possibly, quote unquote, was involved in a car accident where some Lamborghinis were racing and some people got injured. Did anybody die that in that accident? I have not seen any reports saying that anyone died. No. Well, the, the police are out looking for him right now and if he indeed was the driver of that vehicle a suspension is coming a possibly i mean we'll see um you know like I said, thankfully no, nobody it seems like nobody was seriously hurt uh i mean I, there's a video floating around out there i'm not 100 percent sure if that's the actual incident but if it is it's just unbelievably stupid because uh, they would have been racing out in you know broad daylight in traffic uh, and you know, crashed and caused a, a six-car uh, accident, mm -hmm. and then he hopped out of the car and and ran away. Yeah. And it just, it just, it doesn't really get dumber than that. I don't think. Yeah, and the only thing I could think of was that he may have been inebriated, possibly. In, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we've had enough with that with the Vegas Raiders, and we saw what happened with him. So, like, why would you? Even if, let's per se, the car was registered in his name and he lent it to a friend, mm -hmm. why not turn yourself in? They're going to find you. Like, and it's going to be worse if you run. If you run, because eventually you're either going to have to show up to training camp, your OTAs will get fined. You're going to want to receive, yeah, what do you got to receive his Super Bowl ring in jail? Ugh. I don't think he gets to do that. I mean, you know, he's not, he not going to get it. They'll probably <laughs> flash yeah. it by real quick, like, there you go, sir. There's your ring. But to me, this week is the Chiefs. So that makes the Hollywood Brown signing even better, in my opinion, especially if they lose him for a portion of the season. Or who knows, depending upon how long he runs or how long they're searching for him. What's going on, Don C? What's up, Don? Yeah, we're about to get out of here, though, Don. Yeah, man, this ain't no 12 stream. It's, it's Easter. We have things to do. Yeah. Have a, have a galaxy. Hey, Don, have a happy. We ain't got nothing to do. We're going to proceed. I have a. The I, I have a. We See, you, a, on the, you on the other side of the country. Facts. facts. The, yeah, it's still on the that, good side. It's, it's not even evening time for you. No, I'm not even gonna argue. Nope. I think I'm just saying. No, you know, it's it's barely it's barely, I was actually taking a nap and then I saw the message from Rodney. I was like, wow. Oh. That's what wow, wow, wow. You were taking a nap. Ah, oh, Jay, no. Yeah, Duke loses. Jay, your team lost last round, right? What are you happy about? Your man missed a dunk with 40-something seconds left. Are we, are we going to talk about the greatest day in basketball that's happening tomorrow? We're going to talk about that. Oh. Yes, we are. Oh, it's going it's oh, to be amazing. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very, very excited for that. I know we kind of talk trash back and forth about it, but I'm, I'm thrilled to see that game. Uh, and the, the one I'm, Actually, the other, the, the other game, too, is, is going to yeah. be exciting. I'm excited yeah. for that one, too. So All right. So, I mean, let's tell, see, tell, let's... Tell, uh, tell you know who I ain't going to be doing no work tomorrow. Yeah, we're not we're not we're not doing that anymore. We're gonna be we got. Oh, you yeah. know who? Yeah. The boogeyman. Boogie <laughs> boogie. <laughs> so, let me ask you, gentlemen, a question: Do you think, in your opinion, has women's college basketball taken over the sport? Because for me personally, I did not pay attention to men's college basketball for years. It's probably been like since 2015. Yeah. And I found myself over the last few weeks watching each and every women's basketball game. And it has not been disappointing. Like, every team has a star. I just finished watching NC State win. And that one girl, Naija, or whatever her name is, that that young lady, she started the game seven for eight for three-pointers. Yeah. And she was mm -hmm. out there balling. You got uh, uh, Hannah Hidalgo at Notre Dame. You got Juju Watkins at SC. Like there are so many stars. And the, girl, tomorrow, the girl from Texas, uh, Book, uh, Booker, Booker. Yeah, yeah, right. She was she. Was, she's a freshman. 
She she's only going to get bigger, uh, better. The the she, team from Oregon State are all none of them are seniors. They're all yeah. coming back next year. That's a that's a really strong team in Oregon State too. That's a real strong team. Uh, you know, you have you have like it's just crazy that right side of the bracket though. It's like the left side has South Carolina and their star, and then a bunch of like teams that just you know that we found out about, and then mm-hmm. the right side is just all the stars. <laughs> they had they have everybody over there on the yeah. other side. What's up? Where we, where we see you at? We missed you. Where, I didn't see you. Where was you at? My bad. Is he in the background? I'm going to encourage everybody to go over to Live It Big with Big Reg and check out their last stream. Uh, some real interesting topics came up in that one uh, that I'm sure you all will, will, will want to know about. Yes, please go. Live It Big with Big Reg. I'm not going to say anything more about that uh but yes for, for me to answer your question hendo yes uh i haven't been paying attention to men's uh college basketball at all for years and and it is because the 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 town leaves so quickly right you have uh recently you had players going into the g league uh going into other like kind of semi-pro leagues you have a lot of players coming over from overseas uh and then you just have the the uh, American players leaving after a year or two. And so right. you don't really get to know the players. They don't, like somebody mentioned, you don't build the storylines or anything like that. It's just not as interesting. Uh, and to answer your question, Banks, I got LSU. Um, but really, really excited to watch that one. Yes. How about you, Jake? Uh I mean, I, I took Iowa because I bet Iowa. But look, at, if you, it's crazy because women's basketball started last year. That yeah. Final Four. We were talking about it. We were watching it. We were talking about it. Iowa upsets South Carolina. LSU puts the beat down on Iowa. There's the you can't see me, the ring point. <laughs> and from that point on, it just went, it took off. And all we heard was, all you've heard, like, when's the last time they've had a story that we've said college, men's college basketball? It has literally been Angel Reese. You know, something going on with their team. Haley Van Lift took off to LSU. You know, Caitlin Clark breaking all these records. Then you got Juju Watkins, who now is the next one up. You got you got uh, uh, Beckers from uh, hey, UConn. Back, that, yeah, uh, yeah, K- Connecticut. Sorry, UConn. Say, UConn. you know how how she got UConn. hurt the last two years, and she was supposed to be she was supposed to be what Caitlin Clark is right now, and now she's coming into her own. And and them getting to the you know possibly a lead eight final four you know Juju Watkins uh, you got the girl from uh, Notre Dame you and got all, you yeah, know yeah, the person that, the person that went down from Texas I don't know her name but she was a, a, a national point guard who who looked great and then they lost her due to injury mm-hmm. and all we've heard all we've talked about is these games and 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 the, and the women's side and then. You got into you started getting into the you know the championships of as far as like you know the Big Ten the Big Twelve you know SEC ACC and all this stuff and it was just gearing up and we know we know that they set this up like they they purposely put them on the same side because they wanted to see them and then you like I said if you looked at the other side you had USC you had uh, UConn and and it just those those four on that side just the stories are all there. If, if, you know, if Juju can get past UConn, a story, a storied school, you know, if, if, if Clark can beat LSU or if LSU bleeds Clark, you know, and, you know, is able to put her, you know, send her home packing, you know, you got all those storylines. And then, and then that's not even the final four. If you get a page versus a Caitlin Clark, or you get an Angel Reese versus a Juju Watkins, or you get a, a Juju Watkins versus a Clark, like there's so many storylines. And then on the other side, you have South Carolina, Who's who didn't lose this year, and we ain't even talking about them. We're talking about LSU, Iowa, all these other schools, and South Carolina's like, what about us? Why aren't we yeah. getting this kind of attention? And you brought up your 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 graphic. It's not even Iowa versus LSU. It's Caitlin Clark versus Angel Reese, and these and these splits. And you talked about uh, me and Bronny were talking about this other day from yesterday about the story that came about their coach. And you know, mm-hmm. and I and I will say this. You know, I, I, LSU is a great team. Angel Reese, 
she is that player. She is that, you know, and you you showed up to me last year, Hendo. She's like, she's from Baltimore. We laughed when she pulled that girl by her hair and all this stuff. It was it was it was funny. But it's but it's you, you we we all sit here, we all sit here and say it's you know, people get mad and say, Oh, it's ghetto, this and that. Men do worse. Go look at when Reggie Miller used to go and try to tap you in the nuts when you would shoot a three. He'd do it you to Kobe Bryant all. all the time. Look at Chris Paul right Chris now. Paul. Chris yeah. Paul. Ray Mar- all Ray. these Everybody All these on the people, Warriors roster. But no but nobody complains about that. But because Angel Reese does the you can't see me, because Caitlin Clark did, now we want to be mad. But they can't with uh LA uh our newspaper came out with some story. Yeah, they did. You know, and we're trying to do, you know talk about good versus evil and things the like dirty, that. And the it, dirty the dirty debut toss is what he called yeah. yeah, they edited that out after everybody and it and it's oh but God. it ruins but but you know what what's what what pisses me off about this? It it ruins you're ru- you're not only ruining what's gonna be great because tomorrow's probably gonna be the most watched women's basketball game ever, but you're also you're also then turning around and putting this pressure on players because not only are you talking bad about Andrew Reese, but then if you're not supporting Andrew Reese, well then it makes you seem like who are you supporting? Caitlin Clark. So then people hate her. Like I've seen so many videos of people just hating on her. Like she's good. Like there's like if you want to say, look, you know what, she's she's a good player right now. But you know, Juju Watkins is coming. All that, hey, it happens. Like you know that that happens in sports. Along comes another better player. That's just life. But you're you're there's so many people just hating on Caitlyn, just because other people are saying stuff. She is they they the first question they asked her yesterday. Oh, it's you versus Angel Reese again. She's like LSU is a great team. I have nothing but respect for them. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be a great game. You, you know, do, 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 do. Never said one bad thing about LSU. Didn't say anything bad about Angel Reese. What do you see in the comments? Oh, Angel Reese is ghetto. Oh, we're going to take down Angel Reese. She's so cocky. She's so this, so that. So then people that defend Angel Reese turn around and take it out on Caitlin Clark. Oh, well, she's great white hope. She's she's all you white people have. This, this, that. And I just think it's it's unfair. Like it's it's just really an unfair thing to do, especially to kids. If you want to talk about their, you know, they're a little older, you know, 21, 22. But you're right. do it's unfair to put all these pressures on the on these women who are gonna make the WNBA relevant, who are gonna make who are making NCAA women's basketball relevant right now enjoy the moment don't ruin it by making it a something that's not and let you know we got some secret footage a stream yards someone recorded stream yards caitlin clark saying f you know f those girls because you know whatever and all that stuff that's different and i get i guarantee you as a as a as a um oh there's the boogeyman as uh <laughs> as, <laughs> as uh um, my boss like that right as a um as the um, you know, where, where was I going that before I got really interrupted by the boogeyman? Um, <laughs> you know who runs that household, right? Wow. It scares me. Um, no, but I'm saying you know they really they yeah I did lose my train of thought, but it's going to be a great game. It's probably going to be one of the most watched uh, NCAA women's basketball games ever. People mm-hmm. are going to be tuning into that. You know. This is a good thing for women's basketball. It's a good thing for the NBA, WNBA. It's a good thing for college and NCAA. And you know, it's it's leaving a lot of sour taste in people's mouth because you know, tomorrow, if Caitlin Clark wins, people are just going to bash Angel Reese. And if Caitlin Clark loses and Iowa loses, it's going to be see she's overrated, you know, things like that. And it's just like enjoy the moment. Let's not, you know, obviously there's people that want to make it about race, which it could, it could, you know, possibly be, it could be a thing. And people, people try to make it a race thing because they do gravitate to what they are more comfortable with. And people aren't comfortable with, with Angel Reese because but, of her, the skin of her color, but, and people are comfortable with Caitlin Clark, but they do the same thing. They both crash talk. They, they both do the same thing. You can't, and that's the hypocritical part about it. You can't be okay with what Caitlin does. Mm-hmm. But mad about what Angel does, like you have to sit there and you have to be a reasonable person and say, you know what, they both do the same thing. Let me enjoy the game that they put on the floor, rather than say, oh well, Angel Reese is ghetto and look what she does when Lily Clayton Clark, Caitlin Clark That's does the same thing. thing. So how do you the, feel about that, that? How do you feel about that clip where they had Caitlin Clark's teammate being knocked down and she just looked down at him and was like, give me the ball. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, Caitlin Clark is a, a scorer. Like she, she is a scorer. She is a 
She's about getting the what's ball that, in the bucket. What's that got about? What's that got to do being a teammate though? You can't you can't I mean, score if you don't have the ball in your hands, Cinder. Yeah, they exactly. Were on the other side of the court, though. Huh? They were on the other side of the court. Okay, but so she has to go to the other side of the court and score, right? Yeah. I mean, let, but let that hit. Let that no, hit. I go. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, Cinder. I mean, but he's the leader of that team. That's that's her team. You know, yeah. that's 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 her team. I will say this though. They didn't have homegirl. I forgot her name. It starts with an S on Iowa. And we 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 joke, we joke a lot about this end of play. They didn't have no black girls on that team. And they went and got one. She, she was on the team. <laughs> no, she's a freshman. She's no, no, a freshman. The, you talking about, talk about the other one. You talking about the other one. It's another it's another one that was there. No, no, no. The all, girl, all the girl the, that's starting. The, 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 all of their starters are back from last year. Like it's essentially the same no. team. They, they lost no, a couple of points. I went no, and no, looked no, at the team yesterday. So like, it, they are no, the, the, the center, the center was that white girl uh, or Grady or something like that. She yeah, was, yeah she they, was they, lost, they lost two players. Yeah, but they, the, they the black girl now that's the starting who are playing now are, are not freshmen. They were on the team. Oh, I thought she was yeah. freshman. Well, the the black girl that they got in the starting <laughs> lineup, that girl right there is is going to be the key to winning because she she's she's tough and she's going to have to she's going to have to take those boards away from from Reese, you know, yeah, and, and get her thing. into foul trouble. And that's the thing they love to compare Reese and Caitlin Clark to one another. They don't even play the same position. They don't play the same position. And Reese is not really a scorer, but she's going to get you a double double. And I think with her, as in with men's sports, she uses the intimidation factor. And when men intimidate other men, it's kind of like, oh, cool, look at him, stirring him down, trash talking him. He's getting him out of his game. But when a woman does it, that's not ladylike. That's so ghetto. I don't understand it. If, but for me, I think what the college basketball realm in which will in the future kind of trickle over to the WNBA, and I've told Brian this before, they're trying to make this a magic bird type situation. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to translate and bring that over into the WNBA. For me personally, I love it all. And like you said earlier, South Carolina is not even being mentioned. And I think that's because South Carolina lost, I think, like 80% of their scoring from last season. So they're essentially a brand new team. And how do I know this? Because I'm watching a lot of women's college basketball. Like, <laughs> like I've, And I find it interesting because, you know, the fundamentals are different. We don't get to see a lot of dunking, but these games have been really exciting. And I think that a lot of people are missing out by not watching women just because they are women. But for me, LSU is going to take this. Caitlin Clark may get her. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough game. But Flaze, she gonna do her thing. What's going on, Ryan? He says, "I do believe the time has passed for the Ravens on the Super Bowl with Holmes as the head coach." Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's thanks for correct. What's up, Weezy? How you feeling? So, um, who do you who do you guys have to win the actual championship? I have Iowa. I got LSU. I have Iowa versus I think USC and the. In the final four with uh, South, I think I had South Carolina and Utah, but Utah let me down. So it's you know South Carolina and uh, NC State. So I'll, I'll take South Carolina and, and Iowa in the finals, and I think Iowa's going to beat them again. Who am I for? My four were Texas, LSU, South Carolina, and USC. Those were my final oh, four. I think I had Texas actually. I didn't have Utah. I had Texas, but. Yeah, I had I had but, I had SC, but I'm telling you, don't be surprised if you if you see NC State in the championship game. Don't be surprised. I will be very surprised. Uh, you had asked so, uh, about you know if there are any storylines in the men's game, you know, because the, the women's game has so many. I got one storyline for you in the men's game, and it's it's goddamn Kyle Filipowski going three for twelve uh, in a game to to try and get to the final four and get the hell off my team, bro. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Flip <laughs> three for Flip twelve. Is, he's not that dude. Flip is not. I think, three I, I think for we were twelve. I think we were hanging out last night, and uh, and me and Ferris were talking about it. You know, the first one of the uh, freshmen to lead their team and lead them to the final four was you know USC. They won the national championship, which was mm-hmm. when Cheryl Miller played. Cheryl Miller. You know, yep. and you know USC hasn't been to the final four since Lisa Leslie. You know, actually, they hadn't been to the Elite Eight, but yeah, Lisa Leslie, you know, and Sharon Miller was was coaching um, USC. So that's an interesting story. I want, you know, being from L.A., I want to see USC succeed. You know, I want to see them get to the Final Four because that would be dope. Take out Paige, you know, as good as Paige is, I I, I'll, I prefer, you know, Juju over her. And right. Juju looked great. Dude, Juju, I was watching her game against um, 
um, Baylor. And Baylor, that team was good. But she was just bring. She was she was these these three she was taking and just knocking them down, playing defense. You know, like she's she's great. I think you know a lot of people think that she's gonna break uh, Clark's record and CAA thing. I don't know if she'll stay, but it's interesting when you think about it. We we're used to saying that when it comes to the men's side, but the women's side. Why would you leave if you're gonna get an NI? She's gonna get an NID NID NI uh, NIL Ooh. deal. Who's gonna get an NIL? Or she already has Ooh. one. I mean, I don't know. If she does. They have. They have. Yeah. They have. They have. Yeah. She, why is she gonna go? Why is she gonna take off to the NDW, WNBA? You know, well, look, she might as well stay. They'll, they'll still they'll still get that endorsement money going to the, going to the WNBA. So I mean, it's, I, it's really just about uh, what they what they care about more, I guess, or, or you know, if, if they they want to stay and, and really kind of uh, cement their legacy in college, or if they they're more about the pro game, or you know, in some cases. Hey, I'm gonna look at what teams are picking at the top, and do I really want to yeah. play for the Indiana Fever because they're picking first every year? You know, so I mean, it'll, it'll depend. But I have yeah. two questions for you. Do you feel like the women's side of NCAA basketball, the championships mean more? Um, I'm not gonna say they mean more. Uh, I, I think they mean the same. I think just right now, like we we talked about the the interest just isn't there on the men's side because they don't you don't have the the stars kind of built up over, over a number of years, you know, teams don't get to play together. Uh, and, and so it feels like it means less just because you're not as invested, but I think that's, I, I think it's probably a temporary thing. They'll, 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 they'll find some way to, to kind of mitigate that uh, as best they can. Uh, but right now, yeah, the, the women, it feels more, it feels like it's worth more because we're more invested uh, emotionally in, in these players and these teams. Yeah. And it may feel it may oh, feel yeah. like more. I'm sorry. It may feel like more because being that the women are actually staying, they have chances to repeat. Where yeah. you have these talented young men, and especially if they win a championship, they're one and done. You know, they're getting mentioned in the lottery draft, and they're out. So of course, the team may come back and try to repeat. But when you have the women, you can build a dynasty. And I hope Reg is not in here because you caught at one point in time built a dynasty. And to me personally, mm-hmm. I think that Paige Beckers is better than Caitlin Clark. That's just my personal oh, yeah. opinion. And Kim sto- Sean played on defense. Yeah. And the storyline for the men. She's like Steph what, Curry out there. And, she, and the storyline for the men, and I hope Reds is not here once again, but how on God's green earth and a, with a chance to go to the final four, do you, you let a team go on a 30 nothing run? How do you let somebody score 30 unanswered points? Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go, Jeremy. How did you let the team go and score 30 uh, on eight? Yeah, you got to start, you know, right around 15, you start throwing elbows. 22, <laughs> 23, you start throwing fists. Right? Hey, you're not, hey, get, you're Angel, not getting the hey, 30. Hey, Angel Reese and Kayla Clark ain't letting you go 30 and 0. <laughs> right. Angel, uh, Reese, Angel Reese is pulling your hair. Down. All right. Shout out to my man, Don C, for the $4.20 donation. He said, off topic, why when I go to the rec league baseball games, you see no young male black athletes anymore? It's amazing that in Major League Baseball, the black athletes are fewer and fewer. Um, because I'm it's sure not a game that's catered catered to uh, young young uh, young black uh, kids. It's just, not, it's, it's, not, it's just not a game that's catered to them. And also from – my experience and what I've seen, especially in my around Baltimore, there are no fields for young black athletes, young black males or black women, young girls to play softball or baseball. They don't have them. They've even taken down the basketball courts. They put some of them back up, but I see tennis courts and I see other things. So I think that that may be a part that plays into it. I just don't know why. Because to me personally, before I was growing up, it was always basketball and it was always football. And I loved it until I started seeing Major League Baseball contracts. And once I saw those contracts, I was like, why are we not highlighting this and getting more of our people into this game? Because you get paid a whole lot of money. Now, they granted, what, 181 181 games? 182 games? 162. 162? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of games. Look at at what Shohei Otani's making. Yeah, $2 million a year. Yeah, <laughs> <For sure. laughs> but um, but I think I think also too, like you said, it's it's also where you're growing up at because it's not really catered to the inner cities, things like that. Um, and 
If you go, if you go talk to a lot of football players, especially quarterbacks who are black, um, they play baseball. They they mm-hmm. played it because they, you know they're athletic and you know it's a it's a it's, it really if you think about it lends well to um, the skill set of a you know African American you know player person yet it they're not in it because you know it's just again it's a regional thing you know out here in California there's a lot of baseball fields every every city we go to there's baseball fields mm-hmm. and really if we're being honest I think a lot of parents of young black kids are pushing their kids toward football and basketball, you know, and not, and not really baseball because of whatever reason. Nobody likes it. It may may be boring. You would make, you make money though, Rodney. No, no, but I know you absolutely (laughs) do, but I I, I do think that's a part of it. And like Banks said, it's not, it's just not as popular. And I think uh, part of the reason like he mentioned hockey as well is those sports are not as welcoming uh, to, to black athletes as football and, and basketball are. Thanks. I had, I had one more. I have one more question. One more question about kind of women's W uh, NCAA. Do you guys believe the rumor about the Caitlin Clark and the Big Three contract? Do you believe that Ice Cube did that? Yeah. I mean, he said he. Yeah, he came out and said he offered her uh, a yeah. contract. Fifty mil. Uh, are you guys upset? But are you guys upset? Like, right, not you guys. But are you? Are you think people are really upset about that or uh, like? How how would they say like disrespected that they offered her that kind of contract and not others? I mean, she's the hottest thing out there right now, and it's all about marketing and timing. He's trying to build the big three back up, so why wouldn't he? Like she's she's a name that everybody recognizes right now. You can name some pro professional basketball players, and people are like, yeah, I know who he is, cool. But when you mention Caitlin Clark, you get clicks, you get views, you get a whole bunch of things, and you get a whole bunch of attention drawn to your business. So. He pays her fifty million, guaranteed. He's going to make at least a hundred million off. I, I think. I think it was just five million. It wasn't fifty million. Yeah. No, it's five. It's five million. Yeah. yeah it's fine. Oh, yeah. They ain't got no. They ain't got no fifty mil. Come on, handle. But she can play that in the off season and then play the WNBA and still get paid by them too. So she's double dipping, which is you know, you know, hey. And uh, I see yeah, Jay saying that, that he five point two. Yeah. <laughs> five point two. Uh, Jay saying I push my kids toward whatever gets them a scholarship. People forget right. Bo Jack, Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders. They played baseball. You know they they were baseball players. There's a lot of other people out there that were like that that played baseball and football. Like baseball, it's just again I think it's a regional thing because it's hard to play in especially East Coast. You know mm-hmm. because of the winters. We don't have that in Southern California. You don't have that in Arizona. You know other than the yeah, extreme heat during the summer. I mean, would you rather deal with fires or, or snow? Every time I hear, I don't know, it's snowing. Snow. Snow. No. First of all, it's snowing in California right now, sir. So let's not do that. Not where uh, I'm at. I'd rather, I'd rather deal with snow. Hey, sure. hey, the only thing snowing is my keyboard. So, oh lord. Happy <laughs> all right. Switch back. To- Happy Easter, Mister Galloway. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Appreciate <laughs> you. Switching, switching back to football. What's up, Dre? How you feeling? Switching back to football. Um, both of you guys, starting with you, show. Give me one trade. That your team can make right now that you think would make your team better. Uh, the Bra- Bra- Brandon Ayuk training for Brandon Ayuk, which has been floated out there. The problem is, what assets do we have to give up uh, to the 49ers to get them? Uh, there's a lot of things floating out there. I'm wondering if they're just waiting till the draft to get something mm-hmm. done. But I mean, when you when you uh, tweet at the coach, there's something going on. You know, mm-hmm. it's just it's trying to appease everybody, and I think we're just waiting toward the draft. But don't be surprised if you don't hear anything like that. Um, other than getting a lineman, I don't think there's a trade out there that would really help us. How about you, B? Oh, thank you, Dre. Appreciate you, man. Uh, for the Panthers, uh, I mean, obviously they're they're looking at T. Higgins. There you go. Uh, but any any big time wide receiver, younger wide receiver who, who they can pair with Bryce Young moving forward because Deontay Johnson is uh, that was a I thought it was a great trade, but he is just on a, on a one year deal. Uh, they do need to continue putting weapons around Bryce Young, so I'm going to go with T. Higgins or you know obviously if I mean Brandon Ayuk would be great as well, but if Justin Jefferson is available, that's that's the number one obviously. All right, for me. You know, we have all the big names out there that I think that the Ravens could actually trade for. But I thought of a smaller trade that the Ravens could possibly do, which is actually feasible at this time, being that the Ravens are so strapped for cash and they really don't like giving up draft picks. For me, 
I think that the Ravens could actually trade for offensive tackle Kelvin Beecham from the Arizona Cardinals. Being that the Ravens and Cardinals have a trade relationship with one another, they could bring in Be Beecham. Um, he is a 14-year veteran, and in 2023, he just signed a two-year extension. But I think he has one year left on that deal, and that contract was only for $5 million. He has the ability to play left tackle, and I think they can move him to right, but he would just be a backup plan just in case something happens to Ronnie Stanley. Or he could so just start the right tackle, which is so what you're saying. Is, what you're saying is birds of a feather flock together. That's right. Ravens, Cardinals, get it? That's right. Sorry. So, we, you know, we made some trades back and forth. So I think that is one trade that can give us fans, at least, a little peace of mind going into the season, depending upon what they do in the draft. Hopefully – the draft goes, we'll find out April 25th. We'll find out that night what actually happens because a lot of these publications are still saying that the Ravens are taking a cornerback in the first round. He's a, Listen, he's a, he's a tackle. He's played for the – he was drafted by the Steelers. He's mm -hmm. played for the Jets. He played one year in Jacksonville, and he's been with the Cardinals for, I think, like three or four years. And he's, he's a pretty decent tackle, but like I said, he probably has like two mil left on his deal over there in Arizona. So he's a cheaper option, but he still plays at a decent level. And he's a backup plan just in case something happens around the set. So for, for those who uh, are into this sort of thing, uh, his, he played 212 snaps last year with a 61.2 grade from PFF. Uh, last year, uh, 2022, 1,178 snaps, 70.6 uh, grade. He had seven penalties and allowed five sacks. And it was the Cardinals. I ain't got nothing to do with him blocking the dude in front of him. He had to make up for the guy next to him. <laughs> uh, he's mid, right. And that, that goes with the $2 million contract. Like, he's a cheaper option. Like, I don't know what these other guys are going to do. So, for me, that's just something I think that can help stem the tide. I'm not saying he even needs to come in and start, but that's just an option. Because let's say one of these guys don't work out. You have a guy that started 163 games in the NFL, so he mm -hmm. has starting experience. And then I think if you actually put a decent guard next to him, he may be all right. Like I'm not yeah. asking him to come to be Superman. Like he'd be better than what they have for sure. Thanks. So and you're not asking him to be Cam Newton. Gotcha. <sighs> Shout out to Cam Newton throwing that guy around like a rag doll. <laughs> all right, one listen. We've been here an hour and seven minutes. We did not plan on going this long. Still 76 people in here. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, Don C, for the donation. If you want to be awesome like Don C, there is a pin link in the comment section. Today is the last day for loyalty points. And as of right now, I'm not going to hold you. I think Don C is in the lead for the loyalty points. Nice. So nice. this is good. We get a different winner every month. Congrats to Don C. Appreciate it. All right. So if you want to rack up on these loyalty points before we go out of here, make sure you like comment subscribe make sure that you send the donations but just being here gets you points and comment yeah, if, if you want if you want some more points uh venmo sugnight 323 right there uh, i would definitely get those points into you with hendo uh mm -hmm. i'll give you the max amount so go on and send those donations appreciate you yes you're right lamar deserves the great but unfortunately we're dealing with the ravens and offensively we're not going to see too much great. We we need to get what we can right now out of them until they finally realize we need to do better by Lamar. Hey, is um, that your saying, H H Hendo? Be the change you want, you wish to see. That's not my saying, but that is a very, oh. it's very profound. I thought it was just. I thought that was your saying. Shout out to whoever that is being so inspirational. Does he inspire you? Because I need you to change. What, what would you like me to change? Stop eating so much sweets. That's true. I need to change that. Sorry. I have a sweet tooth. I mean, I didn't say cut out completely. How about you want I me mean, to change that picture of you that he has on his <laughs> avatar? I, I changed it. I, forgot, I, I forgot honestly, about it. I, forgot, I, I forgot that I had it on and I changed it. And then when you brought me up, I was like, oh, I forgot that I had that there. <laughs> My bad. All right. All right. Yeah, listen, this is last stream before. We meet up with the patrons this Saturday, April the 6th. Myself, Brodney, Jose. Yeah, first time I won't be able to make it. Myself, Brodney, and Jose, and a bunch of other patrons. Yeah. We're getting together and we're doing a tour um, of the Baltimore Ravens State. Fortunately. We're doing I, 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 I heard Brodney had to do some overtime this weekend. <laughs> nah, we, we don't do overtime on Saturdays. 
Mm. We don't do it time saying. So we're doing a Ranger Stadium tour. Afterwards, we're gonna go out, get something to eat, hang out. Um, we're possibly doing a second tour for patrons coming up soon. We're trying to maybe schedule that around training camp. So hopefully we can get there and be there at the time that some of the players are. Maybe hopefully get to meet some players. You never know. Maybe somebody will be there this week. I can't tell you. But I appreciate all the patrons for all that you do for this channel, for all that you do for this community. You know, I'm sure Bradley appreciates it as well. And he's going to thank you in full force. I'm not going to be there because I gave up my spot so that someone else could go. You didn't give up. You didn't give up your spot, Bradley. Yes, I did. Yeah, you did not. And make sure and make sure when you see Bradley, you give him a big hug. Don't do that. He loves physical touch. Bradley loves. That is such an odd way to phrase that. I don't even know what to. God damn. Uh no, but you don't you don't need to do that. He yeah, he loves he loves firm handshakes. I don't I don't love that either. It's such weird things to love. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> no, but he does he does like interacting with everybody. You know, you should have brought at the meet and greet. Brian was just so social, just out there mingling with everybody. Nah. And everybody was like, "Yo, who are you?" And I'm like, "That's Brian." And he's like, "But he's so nice." And I'm like, mm. "Wow." <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. See. It, See if you guys were if you guys were cool and got to come hang out with us in the backstage, you would learn that Bronny's a great guy. Bronny is. Bronny is the man. Bronny's a man. I I love the joke, but he's a man. But yeah, I mean, look, if you want to hang out with us after streams, you want to just hang out with the Discord, make sure you go over to patreon.com forward slash OOUG. You can sign up to become a patron for only five bucks a month. Once you're in the Discord, you're in the Discord. We don't kick you out. You know, it's just the community that we're building. We have a lot of fun. And somebody's in there 24 hours a day. Yep. Don't know why. Some people got, love to. Got, not, got nothing better to do. I guess not, because some people love, you know, being up and talking to like five in the morning. Some people do. You know, we um, just. It's like, <laughs> I mean, and, and, some, and some hey, and some people be love ignoring messages, you know. And if some people, some people say one family. day, one day to be. A life person and enjoy life, and they're so wrong life for person. one day. Yes, just enjoying life and doing life lifestyle things. <laughs> if you think about it, listen, listen. If you think about it, if you think, listen, if you think about it, think about this. Sunday night, we do the show. We sometimes hang out till one, two o'clock in the morning afterwards. Monday night, we get a break after coach's show. Tuesday night after show show, we hang out to like one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Wednesday nights after LBHT show, we hang out to like one, two o'clock in the morning. If I do hang with Hendo on Saturdays, we hang out to one, two o'clock in the morning. That's like mostly all week long. So what, you, so what you're well, saying except, is except, maybe. Except, so what you're saying is maybe maybe you got to stop doing so many shows, shows on Mondays. So the show that gives me the break, I need to stop doing. <laughs> Not you can't you can't stop Tuesdays because you made a commitment. Oh no, no I didn't make a commitment. Right? Anyway. Oh. I was threatened. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> how did how did who who threatened you and how? We're, yeah, we're, who threatened we're virtual. Just this one dude that feels like some days I feel like he's my best friend, and in other days I'm like, yo, this dude does not like me at all. Because he just so sure. why, hey, why are you talking? Why are you talking about Derek that way? Listen, he just comes out of nowhere. Like we'll be having, I'll be having a conversation. I'll argue, I'll be arguing with Jay in the Discord because for some reason Jay just loves taking shots at the Ravens. So me and because y'all love taking shots at the Panthers. I don't take shots at the Panthers until Jay oh, starts. Bro. Until Jay starts. You taking, taking shots at little cousin? I don't. Little cousin, little cousin. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, here comes Brody. Rah, 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 like a dungeon dragon. And I'm like, yo, this is between Dungeon you. dragon. That's not Brody. No. Yeah, 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 that's not Brody. Brody coming. No, nobody believes this right now. Ah, he nobody don't come like Brody. Brody has that subtle, dry sarcasm that he loves to hit you with. Am I talking about Colin? <laughs> no. And see, he know a little cuz. Like, I love little cuz. Like I love, I've always loved the Panthers. Like Sam Mills is one of my favorite players, and I loved him on the Panthers. Like I've always loved the Panthers. They're mm -hmm. my, they're one of my NFC teams. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate. No, that's that that's that's uh, that's uh, Usher lyrics, the killer. Because you know what? we know Hendo loves Usher. He <laughs> asked know. if that was Nicki Nicki Minaj lyrics. I said no, that's Usher. What's the Usher lyric? I don't know. Whatever you said. <laughs> you always quote Usher. I don't know why you do that. That's what did I say to quote him? You just said I quoted him. What did I quote I wasn't, him? I wasn't paying attention. So how do you know it's the Usher? 
Because I just know you. I don't do. I spent so much time. I spent so 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 much time with you. We, I literally we, talk to you seven days a week. We talk. It's getting. Real. It's kind of. Just, listen, <laughs> this community, and I will. I will. I will. I will. Before a couple of years ago, I will have went to my grave saying, "There's no way I'm going to get close with strangers that I don't know and never met in person." But we spend so much time together. And, 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 he, and, he's, not and, he's, still, and he's still not because like we hung out in person and we're just walking around talking, just chilling, having a good time. And all of a sudden, Hendo's like, I gotta pick up my food, I'm leaving. We okay. sitting, we walking around having a having a nice afternoon, Hendo <laughs> on his phone, ordering Chinese, and then just, just dip. Hey, he does he, 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 he does that in the stream yard too, right? Where he yeah. just, we're all talking and he just leaves. What's up, I gotta go to the store. What's up, Zeke? I will. I will admit. I'll admit. Like they, listen, like they sell grass at your convenience store. Listen, the store is literally like forty steps away. So I'll sit there and just take my headphones off, walk to the store, and come. Hey, in, you know what I just thought of, Brian? Sugar's still talking. Brian, you know what I just thought of right now? This is Hendo's favorite holiday, Easter, because all the grass he gets. <laughs> you know what I had? To, you know what I actually, he you know took what I had all to the candy out the basket and just like I love just it. Like, yes, y'all funny. You know what I actually had today? I was somebody brought me, somebody brought me a vegan scone, and it was delicious. Oh, it was. Hey, let's let's be honest, Brandy. Dream takes all the candy out, and she looks listen, at him and says, "So, so, <laughs> so, so listen." The floor is like, pick it up, old man. So, listen. It's four <laughs> four Easter baskets. It's four Easter baskets sitting all together. Glad you not four Easter baskets sitting all together. Every time Dream went up to my basket and took all of my stuff. I'm the only one with the I'm the only she one with knows. the candy. And then I took it, and it was the exact same candy. And I said, here, take this one. She's like, I don't want that. Give me that one. And she ate all my candy. Because she wants to be close to you. Yes, huh? the biggest Bible is actually pretty good. I, I understand yeah. she wants to be close to me, but you have the same candy. It doesn't matter. She wants your candy. How would she know? It's four, it's four she wants pop. She wants, she wants pop-up candy. She is. Yeah. She's going to be You're going to share body. candy, watch Encanto, watch Moana. She don't watch that anymore. She don't watch whatever she wants to watch. I don't know. I don't know. Like she ain't my grandkid. It's, it's baby show. Did you walk? Did you guys watch Coco yet? Coco Melon. Coco. No, Coco. Coco. The little Mexican oh. kid. No. Oh, why that? you got? Why you got to say it like that? The little Mexican kid. He is Mexican. He is. I think. I First of all, black man, calm down, shit. Black <laughs> man, calm down, shit. That's right, Dave. Well, never what we got. Moana 2 is coming? Yeah. I ain't hold you. I can't yeah, Moana that. 2 and the live action Moana. version of Moana is coming out. Big way. Big way. Not, heck, I don't care about live action. But you know, so whatever the baby wants, she'll be here for five days. Yeah. You're so happy. You try to act like you're not, you're so happy. I'm not happy right? because I'm, she only, wants I'm, her the one, I'm the only one that she hangs around. Yeah. That's good. It's not good. Yes, it is. And then, and then when she gets old enough, she's going to be... She's gonna be doing streams with you, so like that's just stream revenue that's coming amazing. in. So yeah, so stop, stop complaining. She can't sit still. There she can. she Every kid can sit still when they see themselves on camera. They love that shit. You might be right because if I leave my laptop open and she sees this open, she comes and she's like, "Where's that? <laughs> like, not today. You're not embarrassing me today." She's never once embarrassed you. Everybody loves Dream. Everybody does love Dream. She's my special little girl. That's right. All right. We have you should go to his other channel and see that video he put up of Dream. It, it's adorable. It really is. Oh, you saw that? I did see it. What's up, Kendrick? How are you doing today? Happy Easter. Hope you're having a wonderful day. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Kendrick? What's How up? you feeling, man? Kendrick. <laughs> Kendrick. It's Kendrick. Kendrick. Is it Kendrick? I Kendrick. said, yeah, I said it right. You said, or did you I said, I Ken, you said Kendrick. There's no it's, N. It's, it's no N. It's Kedrick. Kedrick, my bad. You know I can't talk. I can't speak. All right, we reached the end of the show. So this is chat talk, viewers' views, how would, whatever y'all want to talk about for the next couple minutes. If you have anything you want to discuss, bring up. Now is your time to do it. Because other than that, we don't get up out of here. Because I have a galaxy to say. What are you playing now? Mass Effect. Mass two. Effect two. Why do you, you like play it? these horrible games that Brian wants free. you to play? Because it was free. It's, it is free. it a horrible game, Ender? It's not a horrible game. Okay. And it's it was, a horrible and it was, game. And it was free. So. And it's, a, it's an incredible game. You know, I, I I had I had someone make a comment saying, 
You too, because you know I, I like I like playing I like playing all kinds of games. No, you don't. I'm really stuck. I'm really, I'm really, you like playing two kinds of games, right? You well, like, really, I, 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 I would I would play Warzone. I would play Warzone if I was more into the meta. But I'm I like playing. That's not a, like, that's not a different kind of game. So no, but I play I play I play MLB. I play Magic. Like those are the games now I you play. Do, but you only anyway, play Magic and Apex Predator. Those are the only two games you. I used play. To, I used to play. I used yeah. to play. I used to play. And now it's Fortnite. But. Yeah. I had someone make a comment saying, "If you play whatever game Fortnite, that you you should be ashamed of yourself." I'm thinking, when did all of a sudden did we like become such pieces of crap that we can't just play what we enjoy without yeah. putting a love, label on something? Love like, what you love, man. Yeah, like I just think you don't you really know. particularly enjoy them, and I would you like don't. for you to find a game that makes you happy, and you don't always yell angry. at. Thanks. Next, a game that you don't I mean, say I'm, every I'm, days. I'm not playing this ever again. I hate this game. Well, that's just this is life. Like, man, Hell Divers. That that that's that's too intense for me. I, I played the first one and I and I kind of followed the uh, the the second one. I don't I don't have it, but it looks like it's incredibly fun. But something that I would personally hate. If I didn't have to, if I didn't have to buy it, I think I can get Brodney to you know if we if we didn't have to spend money on it. I would say, Brody, me, and Hendo get it, and we can play it. But I don't do that. You got me. You got me that, with Call of Duty. Yeah, you, you got, got me with Call, Call of Duty. First also. off, first off, you never. We played one time, and then you didn't want to play after that. So that's played, not me. That's we not played three times. We played that's three why, times. That's why I don't play online. Stop, you stop playing. That's why I don't play, play online, Don. Right. Yeah, you, you, didn't, you didn't play online one time after I got Call of Duty. First you don't ever want to play online. I always ask you to play online. Playing you're like, game. I bought did, the game to play with you all, and, you and then playing. you and you just you jumped onto something else, and you never played online. Thanks. Well, Thanks. I played with and Hendo, then, and, and, then, and then I'm sitting over here, and my nieces are playing Call of Duty, trash talking people, and I'm like, I with the worst that. trash talk ever, <laughs> uh, the best trash talk ever. <laughs> Look, like if you were if you were in those if you were in those old black ops black ops uh, lobbies, okay. ooh wee. That, that's like thank God they don't have proximity chat in Fortnite and everything. Yeah. But Don, I, I love I love I love playing twelve. You wouldn't go. Tell me you wouldn't go to go, go to bed crying if you got shot in the face and heard a, a teenage girl here like you thought silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the end of your call. That's probably what happened. You should. <laughs> I turn the game off. <laughs> Who are you calling silly goose? <laughs> call me a real, call me a real name. <laughs> call me a call me, the call B me word. Something offensive. Hey, call me something offensive. <laughs> right? Yeah, true. Right. I don't even know how to call silly goose. Right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Are we trying to make this? Are we trying to make this a two-hour stream? Is this what no, we're, we're trying. Yeah, to Jay, Jay knows. 2010 COD servers were. Were off the. Ooh. What do you mean? What do you mean? Were? <laughs> no, they're not as bad at you because you'll get kicked. Because now you can report people. You couldn't report anybody back then, so you just had to deal with it. And you could you could mute everybody, but if you did it, you just heard a bunch of people yelling, "God knows what" at you. I'm a grown man. man. Those... I, don't, I don't report anybody. You say what you feel. I don't really care. I'm winning. So I love them twelve year olds. I'm like uh, uh yeah, I don't like, win. I report everybody. I'm like Thor in that movie when he's like, "Nude mess." <laughs> I'm reporting Nude everybody. Messing me again. I'm not reporting. Everybody. <laughs> I'm reporting everybody. No, I don't. I don't report. <laughs> it, I just turn the game off and go back to my single player games. <laughs> so we all got Call of Duty. We gonna play Call of Duty? No, man. That was last year. I deleted that shit. It's 192 gigs or something. I'm downloading that again. And you gotta remember, he doesn't have a PS5 anymore. So whoa, yes, I whoa, do. Whoa. Sir. Yes, he does. Tuesday. Right. So yeah. <laughs> tell 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 you know who I'm not gonna be doing any work on Tuesday either. <laughs> kind yeah. of so we're all get we're all getting off early tomorrow. Rise of the Roman. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not getting off early. I'm getting off normal time. So like tomorrow I'm, I'm, if I go to work, I'm I'm work 12, early. 12 30, 1 o'clock. You keep you keep saying that. I'm gonna call out tomorrow. Oh, they're gonna have a bunch of goofy stuff. I don't uh, oh no. Damn. No, we got a special, Why? We got a special meeting tomorrow. Wow. There are still 70 people here. Like, what are you getting out of this? It's 66. They, they, they wanna when oh, they wanna God. talk about they wanna talk talk to us about video game. This is why old man gamers need to come back. Yeah, you should be on there streaming. You stream video games. Okay, yeah. then give me access to the damn thing so I can do it. We that told you that point. months that ago. Whole, that was a whole and you didn't want to do it. All right, you said no. 
I didn't say no. I just said yes, Bronny. I wanted Bronny to do it with me, but apparently, you know, goodness. apparently, oh, goodness Antipop, what? Antipop has a message that he wants us to hear. Duke only has one star player. You already put that up earlier. They have but zero you know, star players. Attitude. They don't have any. They don't have any star players. To be honest, but they you know, Antipop, Antipop likes to until we acknowledge him. Yeah, but you already put it up earlier. Did I really? Yeah. I, I saw it earlier because you put it up on the screen. I'm like, why'd you put this up on the screen? Oh, because it's his attitude, Bob. Oh, it's dude, like I can't I wait. wait. I can't wait. Jay, I can't wait for that. The hot, the hot dog dance after you what? snipe somebody in the head. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. What? <laughs> okay, so, for, so so for, Fortnite merged with, with uh, Disney. So what they're trying to do? Do you, do you remember the movie um, Ready Ready Player One? Ready Player One. Yeah. Okay. They're trying. They're they're actually actively trying to do that. So they're trying to make a universe. Where, yeah. That you can. That you'll be able to go on, and they should uh, explain and stop playing the game. Right. First off, don't don't tell me what to do in my life. Okay. I'm gonna take you down. Okay. It just means I can play more. <laughs> So they're trying. They're okay. Hold up. They're trying to actively build Ready Player One with Fortnite. So you'll be able to go into this whatever and be able to um, basically run around this world, play Fortnite in one, watch movies like the same thing you did in Ready Player mm -hmm. One, right. and buy content, things like that, interact with other people. So it's basically going to be yeah, the metaverse. You know, the metaverse. <laughs> But with Fortnite but and with, Disney, with, yeah. so I mean, but if you think about it, Disney has all that money, so they're gonna be able to, they're gonna be able to make it really nice, you know, really cool. And so well, you think so, happens. but Zuckerberg think. has all that money too, and that mm. versus what it is. I, you know what, I have, a, I, I, we have a VR, but I don't know how do you even get into the metaverse. Like, uh, I have a gun, I have a specific app that you download. I think it's called Horizons. Now they have changed mm -hmm. the uh, the name recently. I forget. I'll, I'll tell you know. But yeah, you can go in there. You can watch basketball games in VR. You can watch concerts. You know, comedy shows, like all that kind of stuff. And then they have a bunch we, of games. Can we go? Can we go in there and hang out? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. They, you know, they you know they they have this one game. Uh, it's Demeo, Demeo. Right. Thank you. Horizon Worlds. Uh, and it's kind of like a, it's essentially like a Dungeons and Dragons game. It's like a tabletop game. And then like all of your avatars are around the table and you're playing with miniatures and you can just kind awesome. of watch, you, you, you know, you, you say whatever you're going to do, you make your move and you just kind of watch the miniatures play it out. Seems pretty cool. But you know, it'd be dope if they put magic on there. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. There would I would be, be a happy, no. I would be a happy, I would be you a can, happy. You can be a magician, but no, 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 no. Yeah. Nobody magic the gathering. Magic card game. In yes, they do. Reality. Why? You know what? Why? I, you know why? You know what I want? Have y'all seen Three Body Count? Not yet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna read the books before I watch it. I know I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna watch but it. They got this little so. thing they put on their head, and it immerses them in this world. I want something like. That. Yeah. You mean like the the Apple? Uh, headset I don't know. Right I don't know because because okay. our community has not purchased one for us yet. Yeah, we're still we're still thirty five hundred away. Uh, of the thirty five hundred dollar headset, I hate y'all. We need to put up. We need to put. Some, we need to put up a scale for people to donate for. It. No. But anyway, no. like, I, I, whoa, whoa, should, whoa, 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 whoa! I know you saw what that. Is that. I know you saw that. I, oh, I'm I gonna go download that. it right now. Yo, yo, I'm gonna go download it right now. <laughs> it's game over. Don't hey, don't let a certain somebody we know. Know about that, okay? I'm telling. I'm telling her tomorrow. I, you telling who? The book. Oh, the boogeyman. Oh, you. Oh, you talking about him? Yeah. 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 Don't tell that person. <laughs> the boogeyman ain't gonna care. Really? <laughs> I doubt it very much. Yeah, you, see, he said it quite, you see, his voice is softened a little bit when he said it. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, Joe be like, more time with him not bothering me. Cool. <laughs> All right, hour and thirty minutes in. Um, you see what I told you? Every single time you say, "Oh, we're yeah. not going to be here long," hour and a half. Every I time. I didn't think the people because when we started. This is why I tell you I'm not coming to do the show on Sundays. It's not because <laughs> I don't like doing the show. I don't like hanging out with you. It's because it's a half hour show, and you stretch it out to an hour and a half every time. 
It's an hour show. It's not an hour show. It's I a never, forty-five minutes. I hour never show. agree to that. You know, I never agree to that. It's a thirty-minute until dot dot dot. And somehow, you know, we start talking. Listen, we start talking about so many different things outside of football, and you know, time just. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely what happens. But an hour and a half. Appreciate all you still sixty-nine people in here. You know, going crazy over here at this channel. Appreciate y'all. Um, sure, let the people know where they can find you and that outstanding. Steelers, Ravens, Panthers content that you have. Well, you're going to find me in the Horizon World Strip Club soon. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Foster, why? <laughs> they never told me that. Um, no, you can find me on Suge Knight 323 on TikTok, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. You can also find me at Suge Knight 1323 on Twitch, where I have recently been playing MLB The Show 24. Uh, shout out to Roberto and, Clemente, who has just been killing it for me. Going two for two every time. Team, the Steelers and those yellow uniforms look fantastic, bro. Keep, key, I hate you. I hate you. It's that, gold. They are they are gold. bright yellow, and it looks they amazing. They are gold. They are gold. Really bringing um, that tropical line. <laughs> um, and you can find me on Tuesdays at 645 uh, PST, 945 Eastern, with these two fellows doing our show. The Steel Conspiracy, which I don't think we'll be doing this weekend because my daughter has a softball game. Yeah. I'm, trying, I'm trying to make sure she doesn't get Korean barbecue. So we I may remember. actually we may do a show tomorrow. Nope. Are you guys doing Ravens Round Table? Have, we have a show yes, tomorrow. so we have a show yeah. tomorrow. Okay, so we'll do it after Ravens Round Table. Talk about the NCAA. No, no, we it, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be quick. It'll be quick. It'll, it'll be quick. False. In fact, now that you mentioned that, I may not be doing the Ravens rally tomorrow because NCAA games. Oh, yeah. Mm. So if you're not doing a Ravens roundtable, then we can do a show after this. Why would, I, why, would I, why would I not do that show and then do this show? Do you want me to answer that? Yeah, I do. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, hey, look, like, hey, look like a mischievous child. Hey, sure. <laughs> Could it be? Could it be the special news that's coming tomorrow? Shit. What special, special news? news? Oh, you don't know? No. I tell you. I tell you off no. stream. I tell you after. After we well, well, it's not you. It's not you congratulating somebody on camera, is it? It is. <laughs> well, well, can you hold off on congratulating people this time? I don't know. This is that's why I said after. Like we ain't, it's after. So yeah, you don't. Right, but buddy. yeah, appreciate everybody. All right, brother. Let the people know where they can find you and all the shows that you got going on Monday through Saturday, Monday and then again on and then twice on Sundays. Find me on Lunch Break Hot Take <laughs> Wednesday evening at seven fifteen p.m. Eastern Time for the the LBHC show, which we follow up with the overtime show for patrons. You can find me on Sundays here for this half hour show uh, with Hendo. On Mondays over on Sip to Tally Films with Coach, uh, my brother Jose, uh, Chris just joking, OTR Mike, Hendo uh, for the Ravens Roundup. Tuesday, like Shug said, over on Shug Night 323 for the Steel Conspiracy at 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. And then sometimes, sometimes. you never know when, you never know why, you can find me on Ring King's podcast, which is just the best boxing podcast on YouTube, facts. I can. You do too many shows. He does I a do. lot of shows. Yeah, cut that Monday one out. And then Saturdays, you can find me in the chat for hanging with Hendo for patrons. Uh, you know, he, he he likes to be a little slippery on that when we don't have a set time, but he sends out the <laughs> the, the notification. Uh, so definitely sign up. He talk, you know, he talks about any and everything. If you're a patron, you can get on the show. And talk about whatever you want to talk about with Hendo. Uh, it's a great time. I know he made it. He made excuses yesterday. I do have a. I was we're like, all, we're I all sitting there special, waiting. I do have a special topic for this weekend, though. What's up? And it is it's something a little bit different. Uh, you got to see, but it's something a little bit different than we're known. Tell we're known the talking about what? I, I don't people. have. I don't have the props for it. So, all right, we're gonna have a discussion <laughs> about what? <laughs> what? <laughs> This is gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I want to discuss this. This issue, not an issue, but something that I feel is a little bit off to me. So there are these conjoined twins, and they just got married. 
Oh, shoot, I don't want to. I don't even want to hear the rest of this. No, they, but that's it. And I just want to. I just want to know. <laughs> I want to have He's a discussion a about how, how weird it is, <laughs> and how does the other sister feel being connected to the one that got married? I mean, we, I feel okay, like they wait, wait. feel the same way they felt their entire lives. Wait, is this going to be on your Patreon, right? Yes. So it could be rated R. Oh, I, I got to be there for this because I got oh, some yeah, things to say yeah, about this. I mean, yeah, it's it's it's, clo- it's closed off, so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can, you, say, yeah. you say anything you want to say because it's not for public assumption. Well, unless yeah. there's some certain people there. Yeah. That's the the no, this is the patrons. We say what we want to say there. Closed doors. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, heard that yeah, one before, right, Rodney? And, and then, you'll get, then you'll get a lecture. <laughs> <laughs> you start I start talking to you. Then you got to so, message people you know, and I'm say... Sure. <laughs> I mean... You know what I'm saying? All right, so, you know... Great show, fellas. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And like I said, you can find us tomorrow on Coach Evans' channel, Sit the Talent, doing the Ravens Roundup at 9 p.m. Eastern. You can then find me. Oh, you're lying. Then you can find me I'm on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. with my man, Mr. Galloway, on Electric Relaxation with Mr. Galloway. I do believe we are talking some heavy D this week. No. Like, or is it anything, this week? Guys? Anything hip hop. Definitely head over there and hit subscribe. They do a, a fantastic job every week. Uh, if you don't know Dre, you gonna love Dre. Yeah, Dre's amazing. I saw I saw a different uh, I saw a different thing though. It may be something else. I I have to check because the one thing that I Let give Dre see. credit for that we don't that we don't do. Dre has all his stuff set up for months at a time, and you'll see like yeah. three or four. You'll see you have three or four of them set up. So I don't know which one's coming next. I think no. It's well, actually, yeah. we're talking about Flage. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, and her as an athlete and her as her hip hop career. So make sure you come, it's gonna be a fun time. Then after that, yeah, you find sh- us three once again on Ship Night 323 doing a steel claw. That's not what it's called, which might be going on tomorrow. So just fine. it's not going on tomorrow, it's not going on tomorrow. It's not happening tomorrow. I only do one stream, that's on not Mondays. the way that's not the name of the show, and it's not happening tomorrow. Do y'all want people to find it? I'm sorry, it's called a steel conspiracy. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, that's stream like five, six days a week. I need to start cutting back. I do too much. Yeah, the, the boogeyman said the boogeyman said we stream too damn much. We and if we're not streaming, much. we're in the damn stream yard talking way too much. <laughs> but we're trying to get we're trying to give the people what they want. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to build up this community. You know, lunch break hot take. They're on the road to 2,000 subs. They are very close. Make sure you go over there and subscribe and get Please. them to 2,000. I myself, I think I'm like 70 away from 4,000. So if you have not that already, video, that, that, that video got you. Listen, that video, that one video got me 1,200 subs. Jeez. So Pretty I think nice. I might have, I might have to start going back to that. To the, I might have to go back to that avenue again, especially with the Olympics coming up. But I don't want this to be more or less track and field channel. Hey, look, look who comes in here saying, give the people what they want. If that's the case, Ferris, we need a reunion show. I'm just saying. Give the people what they want. Shout out to my man, Ferris. Listen, my man, Ferris has built himself a network. Well, of Ferris, a of, I'm going to send you the links. So you guys don't, they don't seem like they want to leave. Let's get ready. <laughs> network. Especially the highlights where you have a Giants fan and you have a Dallas Cowboys fan. Good friends, better rivals. They got a lot of good things. They got trivia, movie night, wrestling, everything that you can want. Any kind of there entertainment. You go, Ferris, jump in. They have it. They have it. And let's not do that because Ferris is actually going to keep us here for hours at a time if we let him in. So we're going to get out of here. Make are sure y'all stay safe. Yeah, we are. Make sure y'all stay safe. Make sure you enjoy this beautiful weather that's coming because over here in Baltimore, it's like 60 now, but tomorrow it might be 35. Who the hell knows? I don't know. And until then, until next week. You stream more, right? Go 